Now looking at the NEC 20, market activity pretty dull, even though it has broken uh, that resistance level. What is keeping investors away? Well, at the, the breaking of the resistance level at 3,700 on the index is, uh, I, I wouldn't call it very uh, a true reflection of, <clears throat> of the market because it's been backed by very thin volumes and very little trading. In fact, yesterday we saw one of the lower uh, turnover numbers for, for this year. Investors are pretty much staying off right now because it's uh, going towards the end of the second half and uh, a lot of people don't want to take in new positions and uh, they just want to hold their books into, into the third quarter. So we aren't seeing too much activity from the local fund managers and uh, the foreign investors either are, are not, are not uh, very keen to participate right now pretty much there's, there's a lot happening uh, around our markets uh, firstly I mean some prices are a little high uh, and that's keeping some people off and also there ve are very little offers on the market we're seeing a lot of bids but uh, very little very few offers to match Let's look at some stocks that have made moves of late. We have uh, Kennel Cobol up 9% uh, for two consecutive days, really on, that, uh, on the back of that uh, takeover a bid. What are your thoughts on Kennel Cobol? Well, uh, everyone wants to make uh, some money on Kennel because, uh, I mean, they, they, uh, people believe that the acquisition price is going to be uh, s substantially higher than the price at which uh, Kennel was suspended at. So uh, we've seen a rally over the last uh, two days with it going up to the maximum price possible. Uh, yesterday it was up another 9% to 1565 and uh, I think people feel that uh, the, it's still uh, undervalued from a future estimated earnings perspective uh, where it's trading at about five and a half times uh, its price to earnings whereas the rest of the market is at about seven uh, at present. So people still believe that there is some uh, money to be made there. It's, it's, it's pretty much a gamble because we cannot really tell what price Puma is going to uh, offer shareholders. but. Uh, we, we wait to see. Given that there was also a profit uh, warning issued by Kennel, where it's, it's really a gamble, I'd say. A gamble at this stage for Kennel Cobo, but looking at uh, Kenya Airways, it has come under pressure quite significantly following the, the listing of the uh, um, shares on the uh, bourse. Now, talk on Kennel Cobo. What are your, I mean, on uh, Kenya Airways, what are your Kenya. thoughts on that company? That stock trading below the rights issue offer of about 14 shillings. Yeah, it's trading significantly low uh, and it's actually just 30 cents uh, off from its 12-month uh, low, which is 12.30. Well, I think uh, off the rights issue, the, the, a lot of uh, people came, came in to sell. There's very little appetite for that stock, especially given their dip in earnings, which were announced uh, a, few, a few days ago. And, uh, well, the company is coming under pressure simply because uh, they're unable to uh, turn revenue into, into profit because uh, their costs are growing at an alarming rate. Operating profit was uh, s about 77% uh, lower and uh, that just goes to show that they will be under pressure in this next financial year, especially seeing as they are uh, taking on uh, uh, quite some financing in the form of debt. And uh, the question is, will they be able to finance this debt um, from their profits? So investors, I think, are taking a stance that uh, they do not want to uh, hold this stock going forward because uh, there will be no room for dividend, uh, definitely. And uh, the prospects for capital gains on the stock are uh, very long term. So for the one, two, three year investor, this is, uh, I think, people are just moving off, off from Kenya Airways. Looking at the investment strategy, what type of strategy are you taking? You did talk about a, a dull activity on the market. Which sectors are you finding value at this stage? Well, uh, we'll still be keen on uh, banking as one. Uh, and in there, we would be looking pretty much at equity and KCB. Those two banks have been very stable, uh, very sound strategy on both. And they've, uh, they've shown consistent growth uh, even despite the harsh economic times. So in the banking sector, we'd be looking at equity and KCB. Then uh, we look at some construction and construction-related stocks. Uh, we'd like to hold uh, Bamburi and uh, housing finance, uh, mortgage lender, uh, the only mortgage lender uh, listed on the exchange. And then uh, in the telcos, of course, Safaricom is a good stock to hold on your portfolio. It's trading uh, at about three shillings and 50 cents, fair price. And lastly, we'd look at uh, some consumer goods um, 
preferably through Uchumi and uh, BAT. BAT is looking a little bit high, but uh, I think there is still a little more room for upside between now and the year end. Let's look at uh, Uchumi. It's been on an upward momentum for quite some time now, but is this rally sustainable? Well, uh, at present, we, we, we see it as a hold at current levels. It did rally uh, because it was grossly undervalued. Uh, once it came back from delisting, uh, uh, it, 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 it dropped about half, half, half its value and was trading at about seven shillings for the longest time. That was um, unnecessary and unusual. And so uh, once uh, investors picked up on this, there was substantial upside. And uh, investors are sitting on a year-to-date gain of slightly over 100% on that stock. Uh, I, I believe at current levels it's fairly priced, but um, the company seems to have a sound growth strategy and these will uh, show themselves in their earnings. Their year ends June 30, so we should be seeing their earnings uh, announced around uh, mid to late August and investors should position themselves ahead of that. Let's touch on the inflation numbers out in Kenya. Um, prices were 12.2% in May. The trajectory is uh, for inflation to continue uh, aging lower. What are your thoughts on the inflation trajectory going forward? Well, uh, I, w I won't give you a specific number, but I, th I, I agree with you in that uh, we, we believe that the, numbers, the number on inflation is going to be uh, slightly lower uh, than last month. This is going to be primarily backed by uh, stable and slightly declining food prices and also uh, energy costs. Actually, energy is going to be a big uh, determinant on uh, how, how much we're going to uh, gain on uh, a drop in inflation numbers because we've seen oil prices uh, dip substantially globally. And uh, given that we are an importer of oil, our exchange has been very stable over the last few weeks. Uh, as wasn't the case the previous month. So I think uh, Kenya is going to see uh, lower inflation numbers uh, in the coming month here. Yeah.